The RE Source has been around for well over a decade. We've created content for the real estate community for a very, very long time. And one of the things we learned along the way is your subject or post title is just as important as the actual content itself. Case in point, has there ever been a worse time to be a home buyer? Caught my attention and now it's caught yours. Let's dig in. What a great subject title, and you know that we all collectively nodded our head in agreement when reading it, right? I actually found this article from Julian's website called The Basis Point, which directs you to a wealthofcommonsense.com. Love this site already. Let's hit the highlights of the article and explain why there's never been a worse time to be a home buyer, and then let's give them all some hope at the end of the show. They opened the article with a recent report from Zillow showing nearly half of all homes are now selling in less than a week and more than three quarters of all homes are off the market in less than 30 days. It's been even worse in hotter markets like Seattle where 70% of all homes are sold in a week or less. Yeah, out of the gate, not an awesome market to be buying in. This has obviously pushed the supply to record lows and then created this stat that we've all heard by now. There's more realtors right now than there are houses for sale. Yeah, not good. Now let's not forget all of our recent shows that compound this problem, lumber prices, all cash offers, second home purchases at an all time high, the great reshuffling. All of this is making buying a home for the common family really, really difficult. It spawned a new phrase we've never actually really had in the real estate space, buyer fatigue. Unfortunately, buyer fatigue has pushed many would be buyers into renters, which isn't a great option either as rents continue to rise at an alarming pace. Don't fret our resource community and would be buyers. The next part you're gonna wanna share and blast on social because we're gonna breathe some life back into these buyers with fatigue. Ready? We'll post the links below, but relief may be on its way. Asking prices are leveling off just now as pending sales post a three month decline. Redfin chief economist was recently quoted as saying the housing market was going 100 miles per hour, and now it's only going 80. A couple other quick hitters to breathe life back into buyers. Asking prices fell $2,500 from the four week period ending on May 23rd. Take a look at the asking price chart. It's still too early to call this a true decline, but you can see it's starting to trend down. Hey guys, it's a start. Pending sale chart is still up overall, but you're just also starting to see this trend down. Again, guys, hey, it's a start. It's not all great news though. Remember the whole flatten the curve thing? Well, I have a curve we need to flatten. This one, sell to list price. And the good news is guys, I think we can actually flatten this curve and we'll see this one taper off soon. So has there ever been a worse time to be a home buyer? I don't know, probably not, but we are just now seeing signs of hope. Doesn't mean the market is normalized just yet, but this could be our very first signs. Of course, we'll keep a close eye on all the metrics and trends and keep you guys up to date. Hey guys, this is a positive show to share with a great subject and post title share and let's breathe some life back into these buyers with buyer fatigue. We hit just a few highlights today, dig in further with the links below and we'll see you guys next week.